Okay, um, Dr. Um, Bavesh says, uh, any suggestion for control emotions? Um, any suggestions? Lots of suggestions to control emotions. Uh, what I do is I meditate. I just close my eyes before taking trays or before, you know, making some decisions. Close my eyes and um, just reset my mind, reset my emotion. And also, especially when you lose, uh, you better uh, stay away from the market is my also recommendation. Because if you keep trading, you might be revenge trading and you might not be following your own rules and strategies. So especially after you lose, um, you better stay away at least for one hour and come back. Uh, that's also my suggestion to control emotions. Yeah, so I think, uh, you know, um, this is kind of ironic to say, but uh, we're here to trade. Right? We are here to trade and make profits, and that's what we do. So whenever you see the opportunities, you may think that you have to take everything, every opportunity, and take trades. But uh, I don't think that's true. Because I've been that before, and um, I have some struggles. Like uh, if you have, let's say, if you take this uh, Kumo break as your strategy to trade, then when you look at other pairs, when you look at any time frames, you see Kumo breakout everywhere, and that might be confusing for you. You might you might be happy because you see many opportunities uh, on any pairs, any any markets. By this common breakout, for example, or you can also take the Chikou span break happens on uh, lots of markets, lots of time frames. So you might want to take this, but um, if you take, you, you cannot. You have to remember that you cannot take all the opportunities. Sometimes, what's more, sometimes you have to let it go. So for me, sometimes even if I see these confirmations of trades. Even I see, if I see go lower time frames and get these entry signals, I just let it go. Sometimes I don't take them. I don't take all the opportunities, all the signals. And I learned this from my own experience because that contributes uh, a lot to control my emotion too. Um, this is it. Actually, creates some room between yourself and the markets between your emotion. In the charts and uh, that's very very important um, let's say for example for example um, if I can give you one good example I'm not sure if this is good or not but for example let's say if you have a steak right if you have the steak nice sirloin steak and uh, you have this in your uh, in your uh, in your uh, uh, cooler in your uh, fridge, let's say. You get the best steak in the world in the, in the refrigerator and you're about to eat. Today you can eat for lunch. You're happy because it's tasty. Tonight you eat again. And you may be happy again because it's also tasty. Tomorrow you may eat and you may start to get bored or you might have some uh, you know, stomach ache, for example. So, and uh, so, although these steaks are good, you can't eat it every day. It's impossible. You have to kind of stay away from these uh, good food, and sometimes you have to reset your uh, stomach by eating some vegetables, some eating, some eating some soup, some other things, some chicken, something light. Then you can enjoy the um tasty steak again and i think it's same very much the same uh for me at least about the signals i don't take every signal i don't take all the confirmations and sometimes i just let it go although there is a confirmation and what happens to me is that uh like uh, after i let it go let's say the market goes towards my direction without my positions let's say it goes but I feel good because I was right. So next time when I take trades, I will be right. 
I can have the confidence. I don't feel like I lost these pips. Um, and then what happened is that, let's say you didn't take a trade with a signal and the market goes backwards. And you're happy too because you didn't take that and you didn't have any losses. So you're happy both ways if you didn't take any trades. And I think that's the happy mindset. That's the that that's where the calmness comes from. So um, yeah, especially when you start to lose, when you lose consecutively, like uh, twice, three times consecutive, then I recommend you to let it go, let the signals go, and don't take it, but just confirm the signal, just monitor charts, check charts, confirm the signals, and you see the you see the confirmation. And then simply let it go and see how it goes. Uh, that's also uh, how I trained my own emotion. That's one way to control your emotion. Um, yeah, uh, I hope uh, I gave you a good example for this. I hope I get the idea of what I say. But uh, yeah, you can uh, you can learn to let it go then you will you will get more actually yeah sometimes you know less is more especially if you look back the month of uh, july the market was choppy so many fake outs and in the month of uh, may also i remember it was a bit difficult kind of choppy so um you know sometimes less is more um so yeah remember that you don't have to take all these opportunities because markets are moving every day with with or without you every day anyways so whenever time is right you can just come back and just take trace or simply let it go learn to let it go i think that's more important uh, in average every month i take less than 10 trades i think i take uh, eight or seven Sometimes I only take few trades, but I still make some profits. I, my, my returns are positive uh, almost every month. And that's because I know how to let it go. I know, I know which one not to take it. And this also comes from my own experience. It's kind of difficult to say exactly, okay, exactly. In this condition, you let it go. In this condition, you take trades. Uh, it's not like that black and white answer. It's uh, it's uh, kind of uh, it's not like rigid or solid, uh, black and white, or uh, heads and tail. It's not like that. But uh, by letting go these uh, entry timings, I think you will know what exactly I mean. Thank you for watching the video until the end. And before ending this video, I would like to add one more thing that is important in psychology. And this is my favorite. And the proverb is never try to get a head and tail the fish and only get the body part of the fish because that's where the juice is. And what this really means is that sometimes you may try to capture the pips from the beginning until the end of the trend. And but you have to remember that that is impossible to get all the pips from the beginning until the end. You can only get the body part because that's where the juice is and that's why whenever you see trends you better think where is the head and where is the tail of the big fish of the trend and only try to get the body part so that means uh you can after you confirm the trend happening you enter the market but that will be too early you have to confirm the trend continuous trend uptrend or downtrend but never try to get the beginning of the trends. Also, whenever the market goes flat in sideways after the big trends, you never exit just because the market retraces. That retracement might still be up temporary and the market may go up continuously. But sometimes the market goes backwards heavy and maybe reverse end wave, maybe some kind of reverse confirmations and the market start to go down continuously. Then you exit there with some profit. So never try to get the head and tail of the fish is actually that is very important. And my strategy is built in this way. 
So hopefully you stick to this idea and become a successful trend follower. So until I see you on the next one, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.